What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen, How to Cook. And as you can see from the look at things, I'm presently outside on my deck, okay? And today I'm going to be making you the best, the best in a my Jamaican kitchen, snapper fish, furry snapper fish, simmered with all Juliana good flavors, right? So if it's your first time, welcome and if you return, you're welcome back. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, right? And for all I'm returning goodies, on no, a don't know say. I'm a love it Are you ready for cook? Come on, let's go. Alright, goodies. Let's we'll talk about our fish and let's talk about our ingredients right here. But let's talk about the fish first, right? Now, I have my snapper fish here, and as you can see, one bigger one, liquor, right? The big one is for husband, of course, and the little one is mine. So I did um, wash it nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. Make sure say so cut off the fins off of the fish, and I did put some slits on it so that way the fish has um, the season going all the way up in there. So yeah, that is what my snapper looks like right here. All right, and then as far as my vegetables are concerned, boo. Now I'm definitely going to add some butter to it. I have maybe about four tablespoons of butter. And then on top of that, we have some fresh ginger. We have our pepper here, tomatoes. We have some okra. We have carrots, skeleton and thyme, onion, pumpkin. Um, we have some pimento seeds over here. We have some fresh ginger. We have ginger bread over here, all right? But we have garlic over here, and then we have some turmeric, okay? And then I'm gonna add a half slice of lemon or lime, if you have that to use it, or lemon juice or, lemon, or lime juice. It doesn't matter. Just use what you got. But this is the platter right here. And these are my seasonings here. I use my Ocherio season because you guys know that I love my Ocherio seasoning. So I'm gonna add some fish fry season on it, seafood seasoning. Um, curry jerk, jerk curry seasoning from Porcherias. I'm also going to add some all pepper seasoning. This is some green seasoning. Um, when I don't feel like making it, I just go for this one in the bottle. Use whatever you have. I have onion powder and garlic powder here, and then some black pepper. The only thing that I don't think I bring out here is a, is a, um, we have salt, but we don't have the black pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the black pepper. We're gonna season, we're gonna put the seasons in the container here, and then we're gonna season this fish, and we're gonna get going with it, all right? How are you guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot uh, situated, because I'm not gonna marinate no fish for a oh, long, long time, right? So, we're gonna get this thing going. It's kind of windy out here, but we're gonna make that work too. All right. All right, I did get my salt, my pepper. And we're gonna get some oil because we don't need the oil to get the thing going, right? So let's go ahead and get the seasonings up in here. Make sure that you guys receive everything really nice and clear. All right, so the very first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add some green seasoning to it. Let's add some green seasoning. And of course, you can make your green seasoning at home, you guys. You don't have to use the one in the bottle like I'm doing here. I always make it from scratch, but like I said, when I'm lazy, that's the route that I go, right? Now I'm going to add some garlic powder to that. And I really love to use more garlic powder than I do the onion powder. So, alright, so this is the onion powder. Add some of that in there. Alrighty. And then we're going to add some salt, just a little bit of salt, not too much. And we're going to add the pepper. Salt and pepper, like so. That's pretty good. Now we're going to give it flavor. So I'm using the Maggie all-purpose season here. So I'm going to add some of that to it because the fish really does taste good. Maggie is not my favorite season, but I have to say it does give fish a nice flavor. So I'll add some of that in there. Maybe I'll add a little bit more later. But then I like to use my Ocherio seasoning. So I'm using the fish seasoning here. 
all right add some of that in there and then I'm going to add the mild heat jerk curry powder I don't even know if it's open yet I think no this one is a fresh bottle see that that is a fresh bottle I just purchased this one so we just want to go ahead and add some I'm not even measuring anything here but as I use this question for the curry powder all right okay all right you guys going to give this a little mix looks pretty much like that but I am going to loosen it up with some oil all right so I'm gonna add some oil to that and loosen it up my season looks pretty good pretty much like so see that That looks a okay. All right, so now it's time to season up this fish. So the first thing you want to do when you season your fish, you want to go ahead and put your season on the inside of the fish, um, the belly of the fish, right? Because once you do this, you can never go wrong. And even if you don't eat fish head, you just go ahead and put it in the fish head also, right? Go ahead and do that. Okay. And then we're going to put the rest of the seasoning on the outside of the fish, right? smells so good already you guys for real for real for real all right so now we're going to rub the seed stains on the fish and get it into the cracks of the fish pretty much like so all right and that's pretty much that you don't have to do anything else um your fish should look pretty much like so and we're going to set that aside. My pot is already ready, nice and hot. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my pot. All right, so in that pot, I'm going to add some oil. And you could use whatever oil that you want to use to get started. All right, so I added my oil to that. All right, you guys, now to the pot. I'm just gonna add a little bit of curry powder in here before I actually um, put anything in, just a tap bit of that. Just kind of burn that off just a tap bit. And then what we wanna do next now is add in all the veggies. All at once. Everything goes in. It's a quick dish, but trust me, flavor galore. All right, so we add everything in. Let's turn this the other way. All right, so what I'm going to do here now. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add. All right, so we're gonna add some of some of the all purpose seasoning on top of the veggies. Pretty much like so. All right, so then I'm gonna add some vinegar because I don't know, seven so cook it up vinegar. So we'll add the vinegar to that. Um, I don't wanna waste my seasoning that's left over. So I'm gonna add some water to that and wake up that. We don't try to lose nothing around here, right? So we're going to wake that season up. Just gonna pour that on top of that. All right. Just mix that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up for maybe about, I'll say maybe like five minutes, and then come back 
and then we'll add our fish to it. All right, y'all. So that looks pretty good. Pretty good, y'all. Pretty, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. And it smells amazing, okay? Amazing. All right, so now that that is kind of halfway cooked, um, now it's time to put the, the fish in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my snapper in here. Let's kind of turn it the opposite way. Like so. Now I'm going to go in and add some butter to it. So I'm just going to place the butter right in the center. I'm going to squeeze a half a lemon on top of that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the side. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes, baby. All right, and then I'm just gonna allow that to finish cooking. Look at that, y'all. Look, that's pretty much how that looks. All right, so we're gonna make that finish steam up, right? That's gonna take maybe about 15 minutes at the most. Nice on high heat, okay? I'm not gonna go too far, leave this becoming I want it burn, right? But we're just gonna allow this to steam really, really, really good, okay? So when I come back, my fish will be done. All right, goodies, so obviously night come down for me. As you can see, it's getting, it's, it's, it's really getting nighty. I had to go ahead and turn my ring light on, on the deck, okay? But it's kind of getting dark out here. You can see the moon right over there. That's the moon right there. But I did want to go ahead and fry some leftovers. Now here, so only a Jamaican would understand this. I have some leftover boiled dumpling, and then I also have some yellow yam right here. So I want to fry up all of that, and then I have some roast breadfruit, sliced it, and I'm going to fry it. But I'm thinking I might have to take this inside because them little flying bugs, honey, they are on the way. They are on the way out here in the night <laughs> okay all right so me gonna see how this go but me gonna finish cook up this stove because it's going on with itself right now let's come back over here so and bring this down closer so you can see it all right so all right so the fish are going with itself nice let me bring the ring light up closer my light is, I think I'm gonna have to finish up everything inside because it's starting to get rather dark out here. Turn on some red light or so too. Yeah, but that look good. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up this inside. Okay, that looks good, you guys. Oh my goodness, so this is kind of nighttime cooking out the door, right? Listen. I have never done anything like this for you guys. I have cooked outside, but I've never cooked outside at night. <laughs> so yeah, but it looks nice though. It looks really good. Really, 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 really good. Look at that. Really good. It's coming along really nice. I think this half pepper another five minutes on it. Pepper is right there. I'm gonna turn this down because I don't want that gravy to cook to finish out. I want it to continue to steam. So I'm gonna turn down the fire and allow that pumpkin to finish do what it need to do. But that looks good. Oh my god. If I ever smell out of something smell nice. If I ever smell out of something smell nice, you have to think twice. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I'm gonna turn the fire down though. Let me turn the fire down, you guys, because I don't want to cook too fast now. So I'm gonna turn it on low heat and make it steam. So what I'm gonna do, let me bring you guys up close and in per and personal, right? So you could actually see this fish. 
Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. And that me I talk about you now. You see little bugs that I come out. See them then? They might come out. It's night time you guys. Night time. Look at that. It looks bright like this but actually night. It's night up now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See little bugs them they are fly fly. Right? So you don't know that go. But yeah. That looks good you guys. So I'm going to cover up this goodie. And then I'm going to take that inside. The rest of the something I'm going to need to fry. That they probably low eat so that good right there so. But I'm going to take in them something yeah. The fry, the fry, the fry be dumping them and fry the old steel yam. You know the only a Jamaican will understand this. When you have leftover boiled dumping and yam and them something there, you go ahead and you fry this baby up. Okay, so let's take this on the inside and fry this over some music. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Life is easy, yo. I think there's a reason, yo. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, yo. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh, Head full of flies, so here come the clouds uh, They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, yeah. So I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself the foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. That is it, Goody. We are all done here. I'm done frying up everything here. And all I have to do now is put it on the plate. So let's see what's going on here. Look at that fish. Now that snapper is all done, you guys. It is all finished. To the core. Okay. Look at that. Perfect. 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 Snapper fish, curry snapper, in the kitchen. Well, not in the kitchen. <laughs> Pond the deck. Fast, easy, and simple. And then this should be done. We're gonna put it up on a plate. All the Jamaican understand this, you know, right? 
Okay, goodies. So we are all done here and we are at the very end of this video. I thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I know it was a long one, but thank you guys for sticking it out. I hope that you did enjoy the recipe, all right? Please do not hesitate to share it with a friend. Tell a friend if you tell a friend. Bring them come goodie and send them come. I'm waiting. And when you get done doing that, tell me what you want to see me a cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh.